Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I have some cars to get rid of and some cars to show off. So let's start here. I had a request to show off this. Uh, this is a 65 Ford Mustang and this is the one that's in my personal collection. 65 Mustang GT. Um, I have passed up a, a few of these in the junkyard since then. I did do a video on this car a while ago. I haven't done one in particular on this one since, but I, I kept this one because it's it's a nice mod. It's very well done. It looks really good. has a lot of detail. I particularly like this right here. If you notice, uh, the white stripe is a livery, and it says the Mustang there is part of the fender. So they set this up so that it would it would it would leave a space for the for the badge so it looks good it looks really nice it's it's very well put together it lo I, ha I have actually driven a 65 Mustang so the interior looks right um, it uses a bunch of Ford Mo it uses a bunch of Mach 1 parts like the, the seats and the steering wheel and the wheels are from the Mach 1 uh, the trunk looks good it has the it has the full-size spare tire in there uh, there is something weird going on there I'm not sure what that is but it's fine other than that I mean it, it looks really good I might this color is the factory color and any longtime viewer of the channel knows that I like things to be red uh, it came from the junkyard with the white stripes uh, on the body and the factory color of course was this sort of forest green but I liked it. I liked it enough to keep it the way it is, and I'll probably leave it this way. Uh, if I find another one, maybe I'll paint another one a different color. But yeah, that that's my Ford Mustang right there. It has the I think 365, no, the OHV Windsor, which is the only engine option that's in this. The only engine option that's in this car. Uh, this of course is upgraded. Uh, you can't get a whole lot of power out of it, unfortunately. Um, Let's see, I think the manifold is a performance part, and the heads are, and the, ma the exhaust manifolds are, the pistons. Maybe I can get, maybe I could get more onto it than I remember. But uh, you can't really get a whole lot of juice out of this car, but that's fine. It's not really what you build it for anyway. You build it because it's a classic Mustang. So, uh, leave, I'll leave that sitting here for a while while I get rid of these cars. So, what I have up here in the front, this is actually a Chrysler 300. I found this in the junkyard a few days ago. And this is one of the new Chrysler DLC cars. Uh, I've already done one of these uh, not terribly long ago. It's kind of neat because it has the same engine that's in the Hellcat, the V8 uh, Hellcat engine, uh, V8 OHVM. And it's 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 a pretty beefy car. Um, I'm hoping still that they will patch in, like when the Mercedes DLC came out, they patched in performance parts for the Mercedes cars a week, a couple of weeks after the uh, DLC came out. And I was hoping that they would do the same thing with the Chrysler DLC, but they haven't yet. So I may just sit on this one for a while until they actually have performance parts for it because you can't really do a whole lot with them right now other than make them stock. So, all right, so this here is a Shelby GT350, pardon me, kind of burpy all of a sudden there. Uh, I, have, I have probably five or six of these still in storage. I picked up this one in the junkyard and I actually picked this car up at the, and that one over there at the same time. Uh, I just can't leave them behind. It's a really, really well done mod. It goes together really well and it looks really sharp. I like them an awful lot. Uh, this car was actually, the factory color was actually this kind of, it was kind of a unpleasant pinkish fuchsia color and I, I and plus it had like blue stripes on it I think and it looked terrible. It just looked awful and I couldn't live with it so I, I went ahead and went red with this one and black stripes and this I think looks incredible. Uh, I haven't kept one of these cars for myself. I may do it one of these days. I certainly could since I know I have at least five more of these waiting in storage for rebuilds. So this one I'm going to sell though 
and it's they all they're all a little they're all right around two hundred thousand. So two hundred twenty one thousand for this car it has low mileage, only thirty one hundred miles on it. But uh, that one can go. And then we have over here this this one here is one of my one of the ones that's on my short list of cars that I will always buy when I find them in the junkyard. This is a Ferrari F40. And this one has the V8, supercharged V8 engine in it. You can also get one that comes straight, you can also get one that comes with the V8, uh, the V12 rather, which is the twin turbo V12 from the Pagani uh, Hoyara. And for some reason that car is not as valuable as this one. So I generally don't bother buying the V12 version, but I will always buy the V8 one. And this car is 2.2 million, 2.3 million, something like that. Yeah, 2.29 million. So this is a car that I will always buy and rebuild and sell because it's just worth a ton of money. I think I paid $323,000 for it, selling it for 2.29 million. Yeah, I can definitely do that kind of, I can make those kind of exchanges all day long. So I have a bunch of cases here because I did a bunch of customer orders on the side. Um, but I want to go to the junkyard and see if we can find anything cool out there. Okay, I see something over there that looks like a car that I would buy. Oh, it's a charger. I don't want to buy another charger. I've done like three of these recently. Nothing over there in that corner. That looks like a bolt cape. This is the supercharged bolt cape, even. And this is a Bolt Hellcat? Yes. It's a vanilla in-game car. Might be worth doing just for fun. Is that a Barracuda over there? A lot of good old a lot of good old V8 stuff in here today. Yeah, that's a Barracuda. Okay. Barracuda is always a good uh, always a good buy. And is that a Viper? Or is it... No, it's the Echo's Cobra. This is the in-game version of the Viper. I got excited there for a second. Okay, that's all that's here. I think I'm... Def well, I'm definitely going to buy the Barracuda. So this is $10,000 for this car. I think I'll buy the Cobra also, just for... F it, it's uh, actually a little bit easier to build than the Viper, because the Viper has a V10 and this has a V8. Uh, what is it? It is... Yeah, the V8. This is just the non non supercharged standard V8. You could put the Coyote engine in it. That's the one from the Mustang. It might be worth trying that. I'm going to go ahead and buy this one, too. Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so where did it put everything? Let's move... This one is looks like it's black or dark green. I'm going to move you over there. I'm going to move you over here. And I'm going to move you up here. I think I will go through and clean up all of them. Yeah, that car is black. It's going to look really good. Barracuda is purple. I like that. I think I've, I've done purple ones before, I think. But it looks sharp. I might uh, 
bump up the saturation on it, make it brighter. It's got no tail lights, no bumper. It's got all the seats on the steering wheel though. Yeah, I think that's all the body parts. Okay, I don't think we got everything. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, we got pretty much pretty much everything. So we need the seats and the wheel. Gonna need all of the glass for sure. There were it had both headlights, but we didn't repair either of them. It had no doors. So we need doors and mirrors and the hood bumper. Pretty sure there were no fenders either. Rear bumper. Did it have a trunk? I think it did have a trunk, didn't it? Okay, so let's see if we have everything. Pick the wrong option. Play play other games and you lose track of which controls do what. Oh, I did have a fender there. So I bought a fender I didn't need. Need to buy plates too, I forgot to buy plates. What about the other fender, is that there? No. Okay, getting there. Okay, so that's another piece I bought that I didn't need. <laughs> At least I didn't buy a trunk. Okay, she looks pretty good. 100% body condition, so we're done with the body. Uh, we can sell back the hood and the, the door and the fender that I bought that I didn't need to buy. And then we can get in here and install these parts. I always like to get the, uh, the, the pieces that go onto the body of the car done ahead of time. Okay, let's get... I'm trying to remember, too, to get the bat to charge the batteries. Most of the time I don't bother. Um... A lot of times I just don't even think about it because I have so much money I can just buy another battery. But uh, I try to remember to charge them because people keep asking me about charging the batteries. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to get a uh, fuel tank and stuff. I know I'm going to need those.
Okay, now the ex now the exhaust parts. Okay, so it doesn't have the buffler. And front pipe V8A they don't have here either, so we're going to have to go to the normal stuff. Might as well go ahead and buy these things now, because I'm going to need them later. Okay, so let's. I'm going to go ahead and paint it. Let's go fiddle with that paint scheme a bit and see if we can pump up that purple a bit. I, I like it a lot as it is, but I think I can make it better. No, that's lavender. Come back the other way. It's almost... Can I brighten it up now? That's kind of a grape. Come back here a little ways. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's do it. Let's do that. Oh yeah. That's nice. I like it. Looks like a can of grape soda. I'm gonna change the wheels. These are the, the like the rim Atlanta. I'm gonna change the rims and we'll put different tires on it and we'll pump it up and we should make it pretty penny on it. Wow, this engine is like bare. It's like an engine block and I bet it's just the block and the crankshaft. I can see there's no oil pan. There's no pistons. Yep, it's just a, a block and a crankshaft. So we'll be building most of that engine from scratch. Probably won't, it might not even be able to repair those pieces. Let's process this stuff here and see what we've got. I have to replace the bushings. 
Um, you can usually re you can usually repair like the brake shoes for some reason. That always strikes me as weird, so I just sell them and buy new ones. And those rear shocks, I'm going to need to replace. I don't remember which ones they were, whether A or B. B. I'll need to buy those. Whoops. And we'll clear out the clutch parts. Uh, hopefully I can repair that transmission. Okay, what does that leave us with? Okay, this is the potentially repairable stuff that's left behind. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so we repaired the crankshaft. That's good. And, here, and we repaired the old transmission. That's also good. I'd much rather sell it for $900 than like $35 for scrap value. And that leaves us with these. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Usually I lose a lot more stuff. That was one U-bolt and one plate. And I think it was rear knuckle B. Yeah. So now we just need to pick wheels. These are 215, 70, 15. Okay, and then there's a couple of rims that I like quite a lot on the Barracuda. And this is one of them. And I also like, where is it? This one, a lot, on the old style muscle cars. I use this one quite a bit. I'd like to maybe use something else. Because I tend, I tend to, once I find something I like, I tend to stick with it. Both of these wheels have the advantage of not needing to be painted which is occasionally worthwhile. I think this one is the best choice for the color of the car. Two fifteen seventy fifteen. Yep, match the match the wheel size. I'm not a big fan of the wheels that have the lettering on the. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the tires rather that have the lettering on the tire, which is why I tend to not use them. That other wheel finish balancing, you can see it over there. Ran right into the pole. Couldn't get off of it. Oh, I haven't 
put on the. I want. I want to. I always try to do the the stuff from the inside out, because once you get the wheels on, it tends to make things behind putting putting the stuff on that's behind the wheel gets a little bit more complicated. So I always try to make sure that the structure is completely done before the wheel goes on, which is really how you would do it for real anyway. Okay, let's take a look at that. Yep, yep, yep. I think that works. I think that looks like I wanted it to. Okay, so... Get the front suspension disassembled, get the engine out. And then we can reverse the whole process, end up with a working car. Perfecto. Now we will yank that grungy old engine block out. Now the reason I'm doing this with just the engine, I'm all I have is the engine block, but I have put it on the stand like this so that it will put the stand in the mode for the engine that I'm going to be building. That way I don't have to look it up later. Okay, so 12 bushings. And we'll go ahead and flush the brakes. and the tie rods and the sway bars front sway bar B and I want to get rid of the hubs and yeah, this one front wheel hub might be repairable probably will be it's 35 percent but none of the rest of this stuff will I'm just gonna nuke them all And for a second there, I was like, what was the last thing that I needed to buy? And then I remembered. 
I want to get the stuff for the front shock absorbers. Because I'm going to need to build those. I tried once early on. I uh, when I took a you know an old rusty shock absorber assembly off of a car, and I put it on the put it on here and took it apart to get to the individual pieces, and then I tried to repair them and none of them were repairable, so I don't even bother anymore. I just replaced them, and that that right there took us down to just like the suspension arms and the cross member. Everything we've replaced that was most, most, the stuff that we replaced just now was most of the parts we took off. I saw something fail. What was that? The engine block. Oh, lovely. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything there. Just need to get our wheels and tires together. And 215, 70, 15, 215, 70, 15. We match the size of the tire, which is what I always go for. Okay, look at that. It's a actually a. It's about. I mean, you could sit in it and pretend and make room room noises. <laughs> That's all you could do with it right now, of course. But it sure looks like a car. It sure looks like a car now. All right, so we're gonna have to buy everything for this 
thing. Let's see, V8, OHVC camshaft. It's not the Hemi pistons. I need ignition coil and distributor. Was a CUDA air filter? No. Yeah, there we go. Uh, spark plugs. I don't think I bought spark plugs. Now I think that was the, yeah it was. It's an OHV engine but it wants the regular V8 oil filter. That should get us to where we can assemble the bottom part of the engine. Should just go ahead and buy the rest of the yellow parts too. Better need clips for that cap. Pretty sure it uses the same assemblies as the other V8 OHVC engines. Um, water pump. It's either F or V8 OHV. It is the F. Yeah, I never can remember which one it, which timing chain th these things want. Gonna need crankshaft pulley, water pump pulley. Gonna need power steering pump F and alternator I6. belts. V8 OHVC belts. Probably uses radiator fan B. Sure enough. What the hell is ran? <laughs> okay, did that in a weird order, but hey, it works.
What? Oh, I guess I... It does... Uh, for, for. Oh, man. I should have known. I misread that. It said Piston with Conrad, and I stopped. It said Piston with Conrad, and I didn't even buy that. Come back here. I pressed Escape. It said Piston with Conrad when I hovered over this the silhouette, and I didn't read all the way, and I didn't see where it said OHVC, which is, of course, the Hemi Piston. And this is a Hemi engine, so I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It's fine, though. I can use the other pistons on the other cars that I have waiting for... In fact, that Echoes Cobra will take these pistons just fine. Just annoys me to buy the wrong parts. Alright, so we've got the bottom and the front of the engine all buttoned up. And now we need to figure out what we need for the rest of it. So that's going to be engine head OHVH. And I don't think that those are in here. Oh no, there they are. Pretty sure that there, there's going to be uh, push rods. Yeah, there's a bolt I'm missing. There we go. Yeah, there's push rods. And we need to figure out which manifolds we're going to have to get. OHVH, OHVH. All right. I don't really like this engine in particular because it's only used in one application. I mean, it's specifically built to fit in a car that has a cutout in the hood that fits the shaker. And some other mods have tried to use it and they have to bury it under the under the hood and it just doesn't look right. So uh, I don't really use it on anything but a uh, Barracuda. So here's my exhaust manifolds and my intake manifold. So there'll be carburetors for this. Let's get push rods. At least in this case, though, we get to use the rocker arm assembly rather than 16 individual rocker arms. So this, this is a junker car that is getting a brand new engine. I mean, really, the, it, it only had the two engine parts even in it, and we couldn't reuse the block. So the only part that we're reusing is the crankshaft. And really, what I should, uh, what really, what I'm th when I'm thinking about it, what I should have done is just bought a new crankshaft, and that way. When I go to sell the car, I can say, you know, it's completely rebuilt with an entirely new engine. I know the game doesn't care, but I tend to, I, I like to role play it in my head a little bit. Okay, engine head cover, carburetor A and B.
don't have ignition wires. I just realized that. I think it's just the V8, standard V8 wires. Or no, it's not. It's the V8H. And that, at least, I know is in here. It's the one that has the long the long plug to fit down into the hole where the uh, the socket where the spark plug is. Alright. And that should be all done. Take a quick turn around the engine, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. It all looks right, so we can take it off and drop it in. And then, of course, as always, we put oil in the car first. And it just occurred to me that I don't have a starter. So I need to get one of them. Okay, and that should that should be a hundred percent. Yep, hundred percent across the board. Perfect condition. You know what? I am not I'm looking at it. I like the color and everything, but I know I've done multiple purple barracudas before. It's and I've even used these wheels a lot. So I think I want to. It's too it's too late to do a whole new set of wheels for it. I don't want to. I don't want to put that much time on into it. But I do want to. I do want to change the the look of it a bit. And I wish they had some other liveries than just uh, the black and white one. But I, I saw a picture of one of these that was kind of a... No, I need to have the saturation way up for that. I saw one of these that was kind of a... No, take it down. looks like a tomato. Actually the yellow is not too bad. I think I can live with the yellow. Yeah that looks nice. I like that. I still, w I still wish there was a way to do custom paint jobs on the cars though. It seems like uh, something I should be able to do since I can do all these other things. Yeah, this yellow looks nice, and it definitely looks a bit more. I really need to try some different wheels on it. These look good, but I'm getting to feel like I'm using them too much. So let's drive it. No, no. First things first. Almost forgot, because I got sidetracked. Got to test it. Okay, 425, get 600, 700, something like that. I wasn't going to drive it, but I think I will. Okay, here we are. 
out here in the daylight it's even more bright <laughs> it's like oh my god it's yellow I like it though let's see if we can uh, keep it in a straight line Looks good going down the track, though. I think we're drifting to the right a little bit. Yep. No, that's too much of a correction. And I think 150 is we're going to top out. We're going to top out around 150 because I haven't filled with the gearing. But that's fine. I don't. I'm not looking to make huge speed demons out of these cars. Perfect. Yeah, came out really well. I like it. Okay, so it's time to sell the car, and we're at 120,600. Yep, 120,637. So recall that it was $10,000 in the junkyard. So $120,000, even even though I cut into my profit margin a bit by changing the paint job at the last second. But yeah, that's that's definitely worth. That's definitely a good return on investment there. So we'll go ahead and sell this one. And that will wrap it up for tonight. I have to decide still what I want to do with these. I'll probably at least cosmetically fix up this thing so it doesn't look so derelict. Um, just kind of hanging on. I may, I, may even, I may even just cosmetically fix it up and then stick it in parking and hang on to it in hopes that they'll eventually release performance parts for the Chrysler cars, but uh, they haven't done it yet, so it's not looking like they're going to. This one I will rebuild and sell. They usually come out looking pretty sharp. It's black, so it's going to look pretty cool anyway. So, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you again here for our next Junkyard Adventure. So on that note, bye for now.